everyone in this episode I want to show you how to initiate payment to the uh, NECO platform for all your paid candidates and number of validated candidates after you have gone to the NECO office and they have successfully set an allocation for you you can now come and initiate payment from this dashboard as you can see it's simple from the dashboard we have make payment and if you have made payment you can just come and check previous transactions sometimes you can complete payment without receiving the transaction or without this transaction being verified so you can just come back here and try to verify it by just checking the status again if you did it in the bank you can just do this make you made payment at the bank you can verify by in inserting the remitter reference numbers you see all transactions you tried initiating or you initiated will always generate a remitter reference number so all successful payments will reflect like this so we just go back to our dashboard we want to pay just for a number of validated candidates mm. okay we have 20 validated candidates and we have 22 on register so i will just generate rrr for the 20 keep asking for syllable even when we have oh Nico is okay 20 candidates Under the 24 figure table this is the breakdown After you have gotten the breakdown, you just proceed and in the next process I will show you how to make remitter payments, especially when it is submitted from here.
it's really taking long so after your remitter page has loaded i'll just show you in a later video how you'll go about it okay thank you it's loaded submit you don't need to change anything This amount is payable by any ATM card in Nigeria because I think the maximum you can pay in a day is 500,000. So this amount is and uh, you can pay it from an ATM. We have other option with paying with bank account. You insert your bank account, they verify it, then you initiate the payment. You can pay at the bank branch, copy the RRR take it there I'm going to use this option since I'm not ready to make this payment then we have USSD payment this is not possible with uh, this amount internet banking there are few banks that are listed here you can be able to log into your internet platform uh, I internet banking platform you can pay with remitter if you have a remitter account you can be able to pay from your remitter account then um, we are well aware of the e-naira if you have an, an e-naira account they will ask you for the details and withdraw the set amount from it then the wallet we have wallets like paga i think paga is the only one here we also have phone number so as you can see you can pay using pay attitudes inside your phone number this amount is too large for pay attitude so i think you have the card option and the bank option account option and the bank branch i'll just select the two the internet bank you can pay this amount too So I'll just save this into my system. I'll just save this good. So thank you for watching. This is how to make payments. I'll show you how to verify the payment if you made it in the bank. Uh, and I think I already explained it in a later place and earlier. I explained it earlier how to verify it. I took you to the place. Just simple. Copy the RRR through which you made the payment. Put it into the box and run a status check it will verify and then assign you the quota as it is so in the next video i'll show you how other things are done so thank you for being around subscribe if you have not if you have any question post it in the comment section i'll get back to you so thank you all Bye.